Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 27th of July, 2021, 7.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Taking a look at Bitcoin, it is getting halted up against the 382 Fibonacci retracement. And we're also very close to the cloud. On the next daily candle that opens up, the top of the cloud will be at 40,163-ish. This is also near the top, um, a part of the... Uh, high volume node that exists. Um, it's also where the volume point of control, it's slightly above the, not slightly, it is a, a good amount above, I don't know if it's a good amount, whatever. It's a distance away from the volume point of control for 2021, which is at, uh, we'll just say 34,000 even. Um, this is the seventh consecutive day in a row where we've had a close above the open. Um, the last time that occurred was Oh, it's been a while, um, but just know that. Th- then when we're looking at the RSI, we're we're above the 65 level. We're actually at 68.18, so we've burst through that uh, overbought condition on the uh, uh, bear market levels in the RSI. But there's a there's a pretty um, interesting thing going on here when you look at this from the weekly chart, okay? So, um, overbought doesn't mean imminent selling. Okay, overbought can just mean like overbought even more. When you look at the uh, uh, RSI and the composite index on the weekly chart, which is what we're looking at right here, and you look at where price is at, um, you can see that clear support found against that daily Tenkan Sen and while the 382 at 39,000 for 39,400 uh, something, um, well, the 382 is the near term price resistance. There is no reason, and this is kind of just a, a, a rehash of something I said yesterday, but there's, there's really no reason why you just can't move up very quickly close to that $47,000 value area. Um, and I say that because there's nothing Ichimoku-wise halting price here. Also, the volume profile um, is thinner as we move up here. So there's a, there's a good gap between where we're trading and then up to 47,250. That's the next kind of chunk of high volume note up here. Matches up perfectly with the uh, weekly Kijin Sen. <clears throat> also, you know, when you look at the lagging span, um, you'll notice that it is just hanging out above that weekly candle. And I think this week is going to be very important to watch. And this weekly candlestick is going to be very important to watch because this is really a make or break week for Bitcoin when it comes to remaining bullish or turning bearish, Uh, especially as it relates to the lagging span in the Ichimoku system. Because Let's say we close here, or let's let's just look forward to next week already. Um, in order for Bitcoin to remain bullish on the weekly chart with the Ichimoku system, uh, it next week it will have to close above forty eight thousand six hundred and sixty. Okay, it'll have to close. We'll have to create a move that is roughly 20, 26% higher than where we're currently trading, okay? So that's next week. But then the week after that, we have to be trading above, we have to close the weekly candle um, and have the lagging span close above towards that $58,000 value area, okay? And that represents a 50, 50% increase from where we're currently trading all right and the question is is can that happen certainly um you know while i have the bear market levels here in the rsi when you look at the uh rsi itself it's bounced off of that level 40 zone and the composite index has crossed above both of its fast and slow moving averages and the percent b has a really nice uh bounce from that low as well the only thing that makes me a little iffy here is that there is some clear um, hidden bearish divergence. And I know somebody had asked me about that. But here's the deal. We're looking at the weekly chart. 
and the weekly chart has a clear bullish bias. All right, the daily chart has turned bearish. It has been bearish for a while, but the weekly chart remains bullish, okay? If you were looking at this chart like it was an hourly chart or four hour chart or even a daily chart, there is no way that you would consider this chart bearish. It is still overwhelmingly bullish. And all we really have forming on here, folks, all we really have forming on this chart, well, that sucks because it's logarithmic, but <laughs> I'll put a different one on there. Um, try to make it as least sloppy as possible. Come on, get off there. But all we really have going on here is a bull flag. All right. That's what we have for the most part. That's what we're looking at. Um, and so the cross above here on the composite index, or crossing above both of these, I mean, it's still really early in the week, so we don't know what's going to happen yet. But for right now, if it were to close like this, this would be bullish uh, looking ahead. The only, again, the only thing that I have an issue with is when you look at the peak of the of the candlesticks up here and you relate that to the peaks in the composite index, we have some clear bearish, hidden bearish divergence going on, but that really does not apply because we are in a bull market on the weekly chart. Uh, hidden bearish divergence on the daily chart, that is applicable to the daily chart, but not to the weekly chart. So again, watch this very closely. Uh, we're going to form, it looks like we're going to form, I mean, I mean, a lot can happen over the next, uh, 59, 49 minutes. Um, but it looks like we're going to have an inside bar on the daily chart. So that's going to be a very interesting zone to look at. Um, tomorrow, I don't really ever talk about this and this is a little longer video than I usually do, but tomorrow, um, the United States Federal Reserve rate decision is coming out, and that's going to cause a lot of volatility across all markets. And if you don't think it's going to affect Bitcoin, you have like, I don't know what you're thinking, because Bitcoin will be heavily influenced like any other risk on asset with what the dollar interest rate decision is going to be. Um, so just just be aware of that. And I'll leave it there for now. We've got a lot to talk about after the news tomorrow. Uh, Y'all take care of yourselves. From all the Trade Exchange Rates UK TV, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.